In today's video guys, I will show you best competitive settings of Fortnite Chapter 6. I will also show you how you get lower input delay in Fortnite and get maximum performance of your PC. So guys make sure to subscribe channel and hit the like button let's dive into video. First and foremost, make sure you're playing in full screen mode, that's absolutely crucial. As for the resolution, I'm currently using the native setting, but I'll also show you how to use a stretched resolution later. These specific settings should be entirely disabled. For your frame rate limit, I strongly recommend setting it to match the refresh rate of your monitor. Alternatively, you can tweak it slightly below the maximum refresh rate by adjusting the game user settings. When it comes to rendering mode, I personally stick to performance mode because it provides the best results for both NVIDIA and AMD. My brightness is set to 150, the user interface contrast to 1x, and my colorblind mode and strength to 7, which I find delivers the best visuals overall. For your 3D resolution, you can lower it to around 70% without compromising much on visual quality, and it will give you a significant FPS boost. So, if you're having performance issues, this is definitely worth experimenting with. As for viewing distance, I keep it set to near, textures on low, and make sure report performance stats is turned off. With these settings, I'm achieving incredibly high FPS even in areas like Salty Springs. As an additional tip, head over to the audio settings and set your sound quality to low. If your PC is struggling with performance, you should also disable visualized sound effects. This will help your game run as smoothly as mine does. Next, let's explore the ultimate FPS pack, which you can download from the official Discord. First, we'll go over the optimal settings for the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. The tool and settings are included in the pack, and all you need to do is run the profile. Open the search bar and type Fortnite. Once you select it and the Fortnite client Windows shipping XE highlights in green, click Import User Defined Profiles. After that, you'll see a message saying Profile Successfully Imported and all the best settings for Fortnite will be enabled to maximize your FPS. Now for your CPU guys, this application called Park Control is the best application. Install Park Control on your PC. Alright guys, so once you have the Park Control application open, what you're going to want to do is select the profile you want and click Bits and Highest Performance. Then, make sure that Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, and Frequency DC are all disabled and set to 100. Next, click on Dynamic Boost Enabled and make sure this is enabled. What this does is disable any threads that are not in use while your computer is idle. But when you're gaming, it ensures all threads are active to get you the best maximum performance. You can enable Show Power Plan Change Notifications. In Power Options, make sure you click Power Options and select Bitsum Highest Performance. This will optimize your CPU performance to 100%, giving you the best FPS possible. After that, click Make Active and then Apply. Ensure that every single green bar in here is either not grayed out or shows some sort of green. If you're not gaming, it may not show the green, and that's okay. If you have a lot of applications open, you may see more green bars, which is good. Once everything done, click OK. The application started automatically each time you turn on your PC. If it doesn't, just open the application manually. Here we got our free gear booster, FPS Boost, so double tap here. And now here you will find that. Copy and search this link in the browser. You have to simply copy this link from here, open up any browser, paste the link, search, and download the GE Booster on your PC. Next, here you will find out EXT 15 days free trial using this coupon code. So guys, one of the luckiest person can claim this code for free 15 days in the G Booster. After installation, here you will find out this, the interface of the Gaia Booster. And guys, you can simply log in here to your account using your email, Google ID or Facebook ID. So now, you need to go for your Fortnite or whatever game in which you want to optimize your ping. You can go to the Games tab and here you will find thousands of games. So, you need to go to your Home tab and you will find the installed game automatically. Now, click on this boost button and guys, this will start optimizing the network for you with the best routing. So, guys, once you are connected with the Gear Up Booster, here you will find out this kind of region and node. This will automatically find everything for you. You do not have to change anything from here. So, guys, click on this launch game button and make sure to launch your game after launching the gear booster. Now guys go to start menu, right click here and click on device manager. In here, look for a drop down labeled system devices and expand it. If you scroll down, you should see a timer called high precision event timer. 
This timer can often result in lower FPS for many systems, so most users disable it by right-clicking and choosing to disable the device. I personally do this as well. However, if you notice a decline in performance or get fewer FPS with it disabled, you can always re-enable it. But for most of you, disabling it will likely improve performance, just as it has for me. Now guys press the Windows key and R simultaneously. In the run box, type temp and hit enter to open your temporary Windows files. Next, press Ctrl plus A to select all the files, then hit delete to remove most of your temporary files. Some files may not delete and that's perfectly fine. Next, type %10% percent in the run box and hit enter to open additional temporary files. Repeat the process, press Ctrl plus A to select all, then delete. Again, some files might not be deletable, which is normal. Finally, type prefetch into the run box to access more temporary files. Use Ctrl plus A and delete these files as well. Some files won't be deleted and that's totally fine, as you can see. Here's a quick and simple tip for you. Open Task Manager, go to the Services tab and scroll down to the bottom. Look for Xbox Auth Manager, Xbox Game Save, Xbox GIP, SVC, and Xbox Net. If you're not using the Xbox Control Panel, which most people aren't, you can disable these services. If you also use the Xbox Game Bar to capture clips, it's a good idea to turn that off as well. To disable them, just right-click each service and choose Stop. Once you've made these changes, restart your PC after the video. These small adjustments can boost your PC's performance, so give them a try. Guys, here is another confusion. Search for game mode settings. Let me know in the comments about this one, as it might be a bit unclear for some of you. When game mode is enabled, Windows optimizes your PC for gaming. However, this doesn't apply to all systems. If you have a powerful PC, you can leave this on. But if you're using an older or less powerful PC, it's better to turn it off. For example, if you have a Ryzen 3 or Ryzen 5, I'd recommend turning it off. But if you're using a Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9, you can keep it on. If you're unsure or have an Intel CPU, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. This one can be a bit tricky. If you don't want to comment, simply turn game mode off, restart your PC, and try Fortnite in creative mode to check for lag. Then, turn it on, restart again, and see which setting feels better. Generally, most people have game mode enabled, but it might not always be the best for your PC's performance. And guys, this is a bit more advanced. Head to the search bar, type system configuration, and click on it. Once you're in, select selective startup, and tick the first two boxes. After that, Hit Apply and OK. Now, for the next step, go to the Boot tab. Make sure Safe Boot is turned off and for timeout, set it between 0 and 5 seconds. The better your PC, the lower the timeout should be. The lower the specs, the higher the timeout. So, if you have a top tier PC, set it to 0 seconds and if your PC is older, set it to 5 seconds. For me, with an average PC, 3 seconds works best. While you're still on this page, don't leave it. Click on Advanced Options. Check the number of processors box. Many of you will be set to one or maybe four, but go ahead and select the maximum number, choose the highest available option. By selecting the maximum, your PC will run faster because more processors will be working in the background. Once selected, click OK, then apply, and don't forget to restart your PC. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe for more helpful videos in future. Peace out.